going to get you anything, or are we waiting for Charlie? No, actually, I came to see you. Yeah, this is yours. It was delivered to landfill by mistake. Mm. No, it wasn't. I told them to send it there. Any special reason? I didn't want anyone to see it. Why? If you work here, you need to get a uniform. I don't work here. So, am I supposed to know you? Not really. Uh, although you did try to put the moves on my, uh, on my son's mom. Oh, if you're talking about Karen? Because I, I didn't even know she Karen, had a kid. No. Gigi Marasco. Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. Well, I'll tell you this. You're certainly living up to your reputation. In case you're wondering what that is, it's not very good. But that's not why I'm here. I'd like to know if this belongs to you. Uh, not unless there's money in it. Unless you think it's mine. Your last name is Ford. And Chris and Layla told me you're from Ohio. So? This was in the case. I'm thinking since the business is in Ohio, maybe there's some sort of connection. Ford's Body Shop. Is that Rainy Bells? I wanted... So the Ford on that card, he have anything to do with you? He has nothing to do with me, but he's my dad. Um, <clears throat> where'd you find that case? Well, I was at the quarry. Think your dad left it there? So you intentionally did not have it sent to the place where you live, the carriage house? <clears throat> I, I, I just thought if Rex or Shane checked the mail and they saw the return address, then they would... Well, you saw who it was from. You can guess what I've been up to. It's from Lambert University. Honey, are you thinking of applying to college? Maybe. Or maybe not. Are you kidding? Of course you should apply if you want to go. I do want to go. Now, I mean, before it was like not even on the radar. I got pregnant with Shane and my parents take me out. No money, no husband. Sweetheart, hey, I know how hard it was. I met you at the bonjour. You were waitressing night and day just to keep your head above water. Yeah, um, but now things are so different. Shane doesn't need me as much, and uh, he's growing up, and Rex is always there to pick up the slack. So I think now is the time to do something nice for yourself. There's just so much out there to learn about, and I just thought that maybe if I could learn it, then I wouldn't have to be a waitress my whole life. But it's just... What, honey? Uh, what? Nothing. Forget it. Okay. Just tell me this. Why does this have to be a secret from Rex and Shane? Whoever ditched that case is not my father. No way is he anywhere around here. So where is he? Is he alive? Unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Because my father's only goal in life is to make everyone around him miserable. Even you? All you need to know is that I have nothing to do with my father. I took off a long time ago and I never looked back. And you have no idea why his car might have ended up in that case. It's me, bro. No, no idea.